We got a special Tech Tuesday for our BMOD racers. Uh, we've had a USRA Tech official and the Tech group reach out to us and talked about some of the new body rules and how tight they're going to look at the body rules this year. So we're actually going to use a Tech Tuesday video to make sure all the racers are ready to go. Come humble here in a few weeks. Grab your tape measure, grab your level, let's get into the rule book. Okay, we're going to start out with Article 4 body and then we'll go look at the actual body templates at the end of the rules here in a little bit. We're going to start out with Rule 4.4, talks about the window opening must be a minimum of 12 inches. The way this will be teched is with a flat piece of steel or a flat bar across the deck. You'll take your tape measure at about the center point of the door and the opening and you'll measure up to the low point which is probably your roll cage and it must be a minimum of 12 inches. We are 12 inches on the driver's side. You will also have to be 12 inches on the passenger side at the low point, which is typically the halo coming out the right side. Rule 4.6, we're gonna start out with the five inch slope on top of the roof. With a level set at the back of the roof, you will bring your level up and then measure at the front of your roof and that must be five inches or less. The ridge on the top must be less than one inch, one inch or less, and then the caps along the side must be four inches or less. And then the last part of 4.6, you may have a half inch stiffener on the back and it must be bent at 90 degrees. 4.7 talks about our sail panels. The first part of the sail panel is it must be full and it must match side to side. It must look identical side to side. The second part is the sail panel can go no farther forward than the back edge of the seat. 4.8, still talking about sail panels, and now we're talking about the amount of bow. Get you a flat piece of steel, you may have no more than four inches of bow in that sail panel with the flat piece of steel at the corner of your deck and up here at the top of the roof. Take your tape, make your reading to the outer piece of the sheet metal, no more than four inches. All right, another part of section 4.8 on the sail panels. You can only have 18 inches of material from the start of the sail panel to the back of the roof. Five inches from the deck measured straight up to the top of the rear part of the sail. Last part of 4.8, you must have a straight line from the back of the roof to the back of your sail panel. Using a level, simply lay it on the top edge of your sail and you must have a straight line. If the bow takes that and curves the sail panel a little bit, they will simply take and push the sail panel in to make sure it's flat and that you have a straight line from the back of the roof to the back of the sail. We're on to 4.9, talking about the hood and the nose. First rule, the highest point of the hood to the deck is two inches. The hood must be either level or sloping forward. Can't have a reverse rake. We'll just put the level on top. The bubble must be on this end as it runs downhill. You cannot have any type of a fin on your hood. As we go down and look at the nose, the nose wings must be two inches or less. They must be the same side to side and they can't come any farther back than the radiator. 4.14 talking about the rear deck. It has to be full and covered. If you don't have the full removable panel for the fuel, then you have to have an access panel put in to where the pull bar can be seen. All right, that access panel has to be at least six inches wide, has to be at least 12 inches long, and then you must be able to view the pull bar from the location. So it needs to be in front of the fuel cell and in clear view to where they can see the pull bar to make sure that it's over the center line of the drive shaft. Last part of 4.14 is the doors and the quarter panels both have to be flat or flush to the deck. You can't have any wings that run down the body sides. 4.15 is talking about the tailgate. It must be eight inches. It must be flat. 
Can't have any gaps or holes. Must completely fill in the rear tailgate. Mounted and have your number. All right, 4.16. Tire must be widest part of the body. Taking the level, it'll simply go up and down the tire. And the widest part must be the tire. It cannot touch the body, rocker panels, or any point in time. It has to stay on the tire the entire time. New this year for 4.16 is the left rear door right in front of the tire. At the top of the tire, the rear part of the quarter panel and the front part of the door need to be inside the tire. But as you move down the surface of the tire, the quarter panel still needs to stay inside, but you're allowed a one inch gap outside the tire as you move down the door. So we've talked about section four body. Now we're gonna move on to the body diagram at the end of the rule package. The first one we're gonna talk about is the rear deck height. It's 40, excuse me, 38 inches max height all the way across from left to right. The tech officials using that will have a 38 inch mark and the deck must be under that mark. Body templates part J is 66 inches maximum across the deck. So the deck has to be a maximum of 66 inches wide. Body diagram part N for the nose. It must be inside the bumper on both sides and at a maximum is 42 inches from the top to the bottom of the nose piece, 42 inch max. Body diagram part P, you have a four inch minimum to the bottom of the frame rail. That's measured over here on the outside of the stub, four inch minimum to the bottom of the frame rail. Body diagram part Q is on the nose panel. It has to be a minimum of five inches to the fin. Okay, body diagram part T is for the front bumper. The center line of the front bumper must be between 16 and 20 inches. So where you see the middle of your front bumper, it must be between 16 and 20 inches. Body diagram part T on the back is the same measurement, 16 to 20 inches. Find that center line in your rear bumper and it must be between 16 and 20 inches. Body part U talks about the amount of rake in the deck. The easiest way to measure this is just to go to your deck line at the front, take your measurement, then go to the back, again, take your measurement and subtract the two. Maximum is six inches of rake. Okay, we've talked about a whole lot of different measurements today. Number one, we did not cover everything in the USRA rule book. We highly recommend all the racers take the time, go through the rule book line by line, Make sure you're legal. If you have any questions, get a hold of your local tech official and have them answer it for you. Number two, we are not USRA. We really appreciate the chance to align with USRA to do this video, but please don't call Prime Racing and ask any questions. It's better served going to Darlow or your local tech official. And lastly, we have talked to USRA and their tech group. They've watched this video and given it their stamp of approval. So the things you've seen today, you can move forward with and know that when you go to Humboldt in March, you'll be ready to go.